Oh, oh yes, you are on. Hello. <laughs> Smile. You're on camera. I'm smiling. Is that good? You are yep. all on. Okay, I had to check to see how many books we sold because I don't want to tell people. <gasps> oh, I forgot I didn't go in there and try to mark it. Do you need me to try to do that? Um, yeah, I probably should. Um, okay, so we are, okay, very good. Still have books. Um, <laughs> she's checking. <laughs> we are living on a dime, two girl rich. I'm Tara, and this is Michael. Hello. I'm the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook where you can eat better, spend less. Yes, we still have some in stock of our 20th anniversary edition, which, this is it, guys. If you want the book that has all the pictures from our family, we took um, starting the book, how we started the book. Um, how we wrote the book those? and all of that. This is the last edition that has that in it. That's the last edition. <gasps> there you all are, hello. Last edition. Um, so today we are making peanut butter cookies. These are old fashioned peanut butter cookies. My grandma's old fashioned peanut butter cookies right here. And we are making them. You love them, huh? <laughs> okay, so let me get my oven started here. We were just looking at houses. Yes. Like three yes, seconds were. before we went on, we found one. And we're like, okay, let's make an appointment. <laughs> but it's not quite what we're looking for. So. Darren, hello. Oh, Darren. Hi, From everyone. London, Darren. Yep. Oh, Darren loves us. I'm so glad. <laughs> Darren still loves us, right? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I forgot my shortening. Hold on just a second. Okay, I've seen a lot of people we haven't seen in a while. It's great to have all of you back. All right. And Janelle's on too. Janelle, our faithful assistant Janelle. She's our bouncer. <laughs> she is. And our email coordinator. What do we call her? Our email coordinator? I don't know what you call our her. Virtual she assistant. takes care of all of our emails for us. So your emails we go through her. her. <laughs> yeah, we call her amazing. <laughs> she takes care of your order problems. She does a great job. Thank you, Janelle. We appreciate it. <laughs> Don't we ever appreciate it. Okay. Peanut butter cookies, old fashioned peanut butter cookies. These are grandma's old fashioned peanut butter cookies. Now, um, Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Oh, that's not good. When I start the show off with uh-oh, is it? Oh, it's another day in the life. <laughs> so I wonder if I have three cups of flour left. If not, we'll just adapt and overcome. Okay. So now the recipe in Dining on Dime is regular cookies. I happen to want to eat some of these because I love peanut butter cookies. So I am making these gluten-free for me. It turns out exactly the same. Don't freak out. It's no big deal. Um, excuse me, my love. Um, okay, so what am I doing here? Okay, so I'm creaming my shortening and my sugar. All right. It is hot here today, so really this is not the best day to be cooking cookies in Colorado. It was like 89 had to turn on the air conditioner before Memorial Day. That's a travesty. Should not have to do that. Shouldn't have to turn the heater on before Halloween and you shouldn't have to turn on the air conditioner before Memorial Day, but we did. All right, so I got my shortening. Now normally I measure this in water, but I didn't want to dirty another measuring cup. So I'm just doing it in this one this time. Okay, there we go. Now, shortening makes your um, cookies fluffy. That is why you use shortening in cookies. <sighs> really need a bigger spot. <laughs> well, that will have to be a consideration. Maybe we will have to get us. Um, okay. Of course, there was no outbuilding for the show for that, so we'd have to build an outbuilding. Who cares? You can just have space to build a house. 
<laughs> least we'd have the space to build it. Yeah, okay, so now there this is brown sugar. Now, I just made a big old mess. Normally I don't do this, but you want to pack your brown sugar in. Brown sugar should always be measured as packed, okay? So there's one. Now normally, I do this over the, whatchamacallit, the bowl. But I was just trying to get it really super packed. And then if you don't want to get your hands dirty, this is a little tip that I do, I push it down with the back of the bag and it doesn't stick to the plastic. I know, Tara's just got some brilliant tips. Don't you agree, dear? Yes. Okay. So, some of that got stuck on the shortening. Then I'm going to clean up my mess here because, you know, I just made a great big honking mess because that's what I do. And then I'm going to eat a little piece of brown sugar. Mmm! Because it is so delicious. Okay. Now. There we go. All right. So let me, I'm going to mix this up. Volume, Dave. Uh, wait. Okay, go. And your sugars together or your butters and your sugars together whatever you're making with your cookies it um, helps to break down the sugar granules so that they're not as crystally um, that's why you do that it makes it fluffier all right so now we got our eggs and it, I haven't gotten a chance to go look at the recipe but it does come with sugar and brown sugar yes okay. brown sugar and sugar and then we're gonna add our vanilla. Recipe's in the comments if you need it, guys, are in the description. Okay. Recipe is in the description. Yes, it is. Now. And these are old-fashioned peanut butter cookies. Old-fashioned peanut butter cookies. Grandma's old-fashioned peanut butter cookies. Grandma's old-fashioned So you know they're good. So you know they're delicious. Now, I know these aren't the three ingredient peanut butter cookies that everybody's talking about, but these are very tasty and it is worth the extra little bit because they're not, those three ingredient ones are good and we actually have that recipe in our next cookbook coming up. But these are a fluffier cookie and the three ingredient ones are a crunchy cookie. So depending on what kind of cookie you like, um, then just go for whichever you like, I guess. Okay. And then I was a little short, so I'm just going to plop that in there. Mmm. Delicious. Okay. Now, next. Vanilla. Okay, baking soda. Got my small box of baking soda here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't refilled my baking soda thing. And then... What I do before I put in my flour, just to make sure the baking soda and all that gets really well incorporated, I blend everything together first and then I put in my flour. Sometimes you can get chunks of baking soda or baking powder. And so this way you make sure that you don't have little chunks. Okay, Dave, volume. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, go. go and now oopsie did not mean to do that okay now my flour oh I do have enough yay 
Okay, there we go. Get that. Wow. Out of the way. Yes. Torrid says it was 11 Celsius there in Norway today. How which much is 51 is that? degrees. Ooh, cold. <laughs> oh, volume, Dave. Now, let me get all this scooched out of the way. Okay. There we go. Mm, yum. Let me wipe a space. If you're, if you're just joining us, <clears throat> we're making Grandma's Old Fashioned Peanut Butter Cookies recipe. And I just remembered I forgot the salt. The world needs so, more salt because the world needs more salt, people, I'm gonna get that in there. <clears throat> so you guys might find this interesting. This is my grandma's 19, I think 50s salt shaker, the original. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. I like it. Excuse me, I apologize. Okay, so now let me stir this all in. So all the chocoholics are wondering if they can add chocolate chips. Yes, you can. And my daughter informed me that I should add chocolate chips, but I'm dairy free. So what I'm gonna do is, huh? or extra peanut butter. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is do one batch for me without, and then I will add chocolate chips for the rest of the family, which is super yummy. Okay, now that probably got the salt mixed in well enough. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take little peanut butter balls and just however big you want them, and you just roll and put them on there, okay? So, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a fork and you're gonna go one way and then the other way. Just like that, okay? Did you guys see that? One way and then the other way and then one way and then the other way. Now what helps is actually you can spray the back of your fork with cooking spray and that helps it not stick too, but just depends on how much it's sticking for you. Okay, questions, dear, while we're doing <clears throat> this. A uh, number of people asked, can they use butter instead of shortening? And You I... can, but once again, we say this every show because butter will make a crispy cookie and shortening will make a um, fluffy cookie. So... Depending on what you want, if you want a fluffy cookie, you're not going to get that with butter. And also, doesn't it spread a little more with butter? Yes. And possibly burn? Yes, it does. Yeah. So, it just depends on the type of cookie you want. I know some people are anti-shortening. I have absolutely no problem with it. I figure in each cookie, I probably get a half a teaspoon of shortening or a teaspoon maybe. And you need to just stop eating so many cookies, people. <laughs> Amy said, I made these cookies last week, froze half the dough, and got them out today and baked, and they were delicious. Ooh, yay. Yay. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm baking this tray for me, and I'm going to freeze half of them. And then when I want one cookie, not the entire batch, I will pull it out, defrost it, and eat it. Uh, Shelly asks, will butter flavored shortening be the same or different as shortening? I think it's the same. Yes, it's it? the same. It's and just, actually, it's just flavored. I like, I personally like the buttered flavor shortening myself, and that's what I've been using more of. Okay, so then we got it in the oven, and we're gonna bake it for 10 minutes. Alright, and do we know, do you know where the <clears> chocolate <throat> chips are, Ellie? Really? We 
we lost the chocolate. No, the chocolate chips. We found Mike the chocolate knows chips. where they are because Mike's been liberating them. Free the chocolate chips! Right, Denise? <laughs> Grocery prices are going up. You can't just be liberating chocolate chips. Sure you are if nobody knows. <laughs> okay. I mean, when you don't confess it in front of a lot of people. <laughs> now, you will note two things. First, I used mini chocolate. David, Joshua. <laughs> First, I used mini chocolate chips. So that way it goes further in the cookie and each bite gets a chocolate chip. But you also notice that I only used about a quarter of a cup of chocolate chips. I did not use the entire bag like most cooking recipes tell you. I did not use half a bag like the other half of the cooking recipes tell you. I just used a quarter. But you can see, I mean, that's a generous amount of chocolate chips. There's no reason that you need that many, okay? All right, now while those are cooking, I'm gonna sit here and roll the rest of the balls and have them all rolled out while Mike gives me questions. Jenny wants to know, do you use regular flour or gluten-free? Okay, so normally I use regular, but today I use gluten-free because I wanted to eat some of these. Yes, Karen, butter-flavored Crisco is the same, Crisco is shortening. So it's yes. the same as butter flavor yes. shortening. Yep, and that's fine. Crisco is shortening. I can't remember what it is in England for those of you who in Ireland who were asking. It starts with a T. I can't remember. But anyway, this is what it looks like. <laughs> Comes in a container like this. That's what it looks like. So Crisco is the same thing. I know it's not supposedly the healthiest thing for you, but here's the thing. Cookies in general are not the healthiest thing for you. So <laughs> just stop eating so many cookies there you go that's my psa now i have another psa also do more sit -ups. uh also do more sit-ups dave says <laughs> <laughs> um you guys might if your family eats a lot of peanut butter you might want to go out and stock up on peanut butter now it may or may not happen but if you use peanut butter on a regular basis, it's not gonna hurt you. You'll just won't have to buy it at the store. But here's the thing. I saw an article the other day that they're expecting a um, swarm of locusts to hatch in Virginia and the Carolinas, I think, down south somewhere. And it's like a 17 year cycle that they go through. And this is the 17th year, I guess, since they went in the hibernation or whatever it's called well guys they're expecting the biggest locust what are locusts called herds they wouldn't be herds swarms swarms locust swarm that was my word by the way he said um and for those of you who don't know locusts will eat everything if there's a lot of them they will just clear crops out. Well, guess what is growing in the South in the United States? Peanuts. So I don't know if it's gonna happen or not, but I'll tell you, I'm stocking up on peanut butter because just in case, we'll eat it anyway. Jack and Ellie and I will eat it anyway. It's not that big of a deal for us just to good. buy some and have a little extra on hand or get dried peanut butter. Big Lots has dried peanut butter for fairly inexpensive. But that's just a little PSA there for you guys. So, okay. Questions? Comments, my love. Oh, thank you. My knight in slightly tarnished armor. <laughs> my yeah, oh, my... handsome one. A little bit of punctured armor lately. <laughs> the one who really would love to kiss my neck but is not allowed to. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Confession time. I was waiting for Dave to go, oh, gross. That's why you said it, right? Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, I just learned to stop. You just learned to ignore us? Just Claire, ignore you. Claire said she made the brownies with Pamela's gluten-free flour today, and they were delicious. They're good, aren't they? And uh, we had a couple people from Cali to Texas said, I'm finally able to watch the show live. I'm so excited. Wait, was, was that the one that visited us? Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay, never mind. It's, it's awesome that you're here. Oh, and somebody Thank else. Thank you for visiting. Uh, oh, I lost it. Robert said, finally in 23 years on your live show. Hallelujah. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> well, welcome. Wow. 
<laughs> We've only had our live show for, this will be, oh wow, this will be our fourth year. Is it only fourth? We yeah. Uh-uh. It'll be our fourth year in a month. Wow. I think it was June 6th was our first live show. <laughs> Denise says, peanut butter cookies are my favorite. In fact, anything peanut butter. And since chocolate is your favorite, you should probably put chocolate chips in them. Yes. Oh, I and definitely would. Somebody else said, um, Mary Beth said, chocolate frosting spread between two of these is awesome. Oh, a peanut butter whoopie pie. <laughs> Ooh, except it's opposite because you don't have the peanut butter feeling. You have the peanut butter crust. Wow. So they're alternate universe peanut butter whoopie pies. <laughs> Man, you better call psych. Yes. Actually, I was thinking Star Trek, but it's okay. Uh, let's see. We already answered that. We answered that. Ooh, Tanya said, just made y'all's pound cake, paired it with fresh oh, strawberries. yeah, that's good, too. Yum. <laughs> Yum, definitely. Okay, so I have all my balls pre-rolled, which sounds a little weird. And Breezy says, my little eight-year-old who has Down syndrome is watching cookies. Have some, please. <laughs> like, awesome. <laughs> that sounds really cute. Let's see. Um, actually... So Paula had mentioned, Paula from Canada, had mentioned earlier opening the bag further and pressing the cup against yes. the side. Didn't you used to do yeah, that? Yeah, I do that too. I just didn't have the bag open this time. I was kind of surprised yeah. you didn't, Paula. Yeah, that's usually how I do it. I just did it. We've lost the scissors. How do we have eight pairs of scissors and we cannot find scissors? And we've got to get it together. <laughs> that's what I want to know. Oh my goodness, that is so good. And Candy Plummer has a mm. birthday today. Give me a thumbs up for cookie dough, guys. Oh, cookie dough? Mm. Candy! Yes! We should have driven over there and sang it to her in person. Hey, Oh, she lives nearby? She lives. Well, I don't know if she wants us to say. No, but I wouldn't say exactly where. You know where Lyman is? Yes, somewhere in that general And there's direction. a little town not too far from there. Oh, nice. Very cool. Are we going to sing happy birthday? We have to. We Candy is faithful. We should. Huh? Who? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, oh! Jonathan from Florida Singularity. Super chatted $10. Bible money challenge. Who wants to match it? Thank you, Jonathan. I shipped out, I think, 10 or 12 Bibles today. Thank you so much. It's good to see you, Jonathan. As a matter of fact, we're for almost a couple out. Shows. Yeah. I'm going to have to get some more ordered. Um, okay. So... The Bible challenge is, we give you guys an easy to read English Standard Version Bible. If you want one, email us and we will just send it to you on us, postage pay to everything. Because we want everybody to be able to easily read and understand the Bible. And this is an easy to understand version. Okay? Candy's birthday. You ready? Yeah, do we want to get the... I don't know where it went. I saw it underneath here the other day when I was Oops. doing dishes and putting them away. Well, yeah. See? Don't listen to your wife. I can find it. <gasps> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Candy. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Candy, we love you. <laughs> She's been so faithful. Yes. Okay, I have something funny I have to say. Before, first of all, I have to tell you, so my Facebook memories came up today. Jack saw it was raining out. He was two, almost two. Jack saw it was raining out, so he thought he needed to wear his goggles to take David to school. <laughs> <laughs> what? Jack saw it was raining out. Yeah. So he thought he had to wear his goggles to take Dave to school. How old was he then? That's two. Like four. He oh, was two. almost two. <laughs> oh, cool. So here's another one. Ellie said, my friend found a note in her backpack that said, you better be nice to my sister from her friend's brother to her friend's boyfriend. Okay. I said, yeah, I think your brothers would pound your boyfriend if he hurt you too. Ellie said, no, they wouldn't. I said, why not? She said, because I would pound him first. Yes. That's my girl. I heard you call that one from the other room. Ah, <laughs> she's got my warrior jean. Okay, so then... <laughs> my warrior jeans. 
I heard that. So then, right here's another memory from today. Now this is a, oops, wait, we got like two more minutes. So gluten-free ones, guys, take a little bit longer than regular flour ones. So this time, <sighs> four years oh, ago. Do you have a picture of it? Dave is going to love this. Dave remembers this. No. Can you blow up the picture? Dave and I Wait. and Jack were loading up the van to go to my first show, soap show. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was lovely. It was like today. It was like 89 degrees. It was super hot. I had been working so hard getting ready for the soap show, about ready to drop dead. So the boys get place. home from school. I said, you guys have to help me load the van. We get everything loaded in the van. The boys are fighting. They're arguing about putting the stuff in there. This mom has about had it and I was like, just get it done so we can just leave and go set up my booth. Okay, so we get it all loaded in the garage. We're in the garage with the garage door open. We get it loaded and I go to pull out and I forgot to close the back of the van. That's my and I completely smashed out the back windshield of the van. Those are my memories for today. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Well, Mike's getting me more questions. Um, dining out of dime, 25% off right now. I've only got less than 300 copies. Aprons, 50% off if you want my get together people, just 15 bucks, my aprons. Price books, I only have 40 left. Clearance on the misprints, these are the misprints on Paris. I only have 40 of these left. These are great if you want the best prices on groceries because you write down where the best prices are. And then over here, I give you my best price. So you can know if it's a good price or not. And why is that important? Because times right, like right now when meat is going up, you'll know if it's a good price or not. Okay, so, woo! Now, if that is not the perfect peanut butter cookie. Wow, those look very impressive. <laughs> they have to cool a moment. I might watch you taste one. Mike hates peanut butter. Um, also, the cookies guys, look amazing, but. 50% off our to-do list for the refrigerator and our weekly meal planner for the refrigerator, just three bucks for the print version. Pity Pension Mama, just six bucks. This is not going to be reprinted, so if you want Pity Pension Mama, 500 ways to save $500. Oh, are you talking about the clearance stuff? Yes, and our financial planner right here, Get It Together People Financial Planner. It's got everything, monthly bills. It's got debt payoff grid. It's got another different debt payoff grid, a budgeting and savings bubbles and expense trackers right there. All those are 50% off, guys. So if you want them, grab them. Okay, that's so, the PSA. So Tanya's reviews super chatted $10 to respond uh, to the Bible Money Challenge that Jonathan dropped the code for. <laughs> thank you, Tanya. That is great. That's four more Bibles we can send out. All right, thank you so much, that's great. Um, <clears throat> Denise said, Mike, get your milk cookies are done. That was before I mentioned about peanut butter, but I'll send them to you. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, how's the house hunting going? Well, we expanded our search to go a little bit further out than we had anticipated and like an hour before the show. And we found about four places and one of them, I'm sure we're not going to get this place. I'm just asking to look at it just to be a nosy person and we're already out there. But we found a church. <laughs> Would Dude, that not be Bible the coolest thing? Did what? we just get Diana. another Bible challenge? From Diana. I think it's Diane. That's how you pronounce it. No, that's oh, that yeah. What's no? That's another Diane. one. Diane. Oh. Yeah, that's close. Yeah. Thank you, 
guys. Thank you, Diane, for that is ten dollars so super chat for the Bible challenge. Man, you guys are the best. Ooh. <laughs> oh dear. These are still way too hot. Jonathan's oh, oh pretty, dear. probably pretty proud, proud for uh, starting something there. Thank too. you, Jonathan, and both of you guys, all three of you guys. That's wonderful. Um. Oh, that is good. Oops. That's hot. Mm. So that's really good. Um, if you, for a couple of people were asking about a Bible, and if you would please send us an email, mm -hmm. you can either send it to editor at livingonadime.com, or you can go to livingonadime.com and click contact and send us a message yep. through there. And just tell us you want a Bible and give us your mailing address so we can send it to you. I had one person ask like eight times, but never tell me where you Never. Live. We have to have your mailing address to mail it. Yeah, so. Um, if you want an online Bible, just go to biblegateway.com. The New Living Translation is the one that we like the easiest, but there's several on there. There's a lot of good translations Oh my goodness, there. that's good. And the Bible talks about gluttony, and I need to go read it. Well, um, you haven't had more than four or six of them, right? Oh man, that is so good. <laughs> um, okay, church. Can you imagine what we could do with a 4,700 square foot church on the inside? I would buy it. It has a 50 space parking lot. 50 space parking lot. We would have no problem parking all the kids' cars there. Or grandkids, if we ever have grandkids. But you know what we could do with the parking lot? <laughs> I got to thinking. Sorry, I just saw one that if we ever. <laughs> we better. We could make a tennis court and a basketball court out of the parking lot. Holy moly. Yeah. Whoa, the tennis court. <gasps> The only downside to this church is there is not a single tree on the property. It's just kind of dumb. And it's not in the mountains, so it's like living on the prairie, and the sun just beats down because we're higher up here in Colorado. And we really want trees. Ms. T says, think of the craft fairs and soap workshops and sewing with Jill weekends. You could have with all that parking and every I know! I told her it'd be great for Bible studies. <laughs> perfectly set up. <laughs> Just think what we could do for a church. We could have a whole retreat. Maybe we should buy the church as our retreat center and then just build a house. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Yes. Uh, oh, everyone's drooling. Paula says, I want peanut butter cookies now. Okay. So you want them to sit on the tray for about five to ten minutes. I'm going quicker because the show and I wanted to show you the chocolate ones, but about five to ten minutes because they finish cooking. If you take them off right away, they can be raw in the center. And the residual heat from the pan helps them to finish cooking, okay? Mm -hmm. You take it, you want one? Oh, Julie says, hey there from St. Louis and just bought your cookbook. Yeehaw. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I hope okay. you love it. Now Here's the thing, we got a couple of packages today and I got some new glasses. They're out on my face. I was gonna show them to you. Do you guys wanna see them? I don't know, do you think they wanna see them? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, I think they do. Okay, all <laughs> right, here we go. Let me get these ones in the oven. We got two packages today, one from My Daily Side and one from Kathy. We love packages. Thank you guys. What do you mean we don't play tennis, man? The kids play, play every day now. So Why would we not play tennis? No, no, it might have been sarcasm. I just, oh, I, I see. Know. Okay. Here we go. And I'm almost done. Boom. Okay. Oops. Oh, sorry. Jack. Somebody sent you a joke. <clears throat> Tammy says, joke for Jack. What do you call a pig that knows karate? <laughs> what? Pork. <laughs> a pork job. <laughs> that is pork job. best joke of 2020. Best joke of 2020, he said. Okay, nice, Tammy. turn your head. Can you guys see that on Mike's neck? Ooh. That is not a hickey. That is my lipstick. Not really. <laughs> we were... Going back and forth because he's like, well, if you don't want me to kiss your neck, you can at least kiss my neck. So I kissed his neck. 
Oh, you're confessing uh, stories. Well, it's right there. It looks really weird. I didn't even know. I didn't see it. Okay, so first of all, glasses. I got new glasses today. 70 bucks for, or 100 bucks for both of these. They are progressive bifocals with the thin lenses. Whoa. Like, and the extra fingerprint resistant coating. Okay, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Okay, you ready? We need our drum roll. Do the drum roll. Oops. Drum roll real quick. Do I need to go find the one on that? No, go ahead. <laughs> what do you guys think? Oh, oh, oh. Just kidding. <laughs> Thanks. Just joking. Actually, okay, I so like here's pair number I one. Like Why should you ask anyone else? 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Okay, <laughs> you ready? I won't do number two since you're. And here's number two. Except this one, my eyelashes hit the lenses, so I don't know if I'm going to wear these that often. Oh my goodness. What do you think? Glasses. I know they sit really close to my face so I got new glasses today they're a totally different style my other ones are getting worn out so we'll see okay zennyoptical.com z-e-n-n-i optical we need to be an affiliate for these people we don't get any kind of we commission we don't for that. get any commission we just buy them there and we tell people but it's just every time I say something about buying glasses online, we have been buying from them for 17 years. Started buying from them when Dave was born. This is not a paid promotion. It's again. not a paid promotion. They should pay me for it. Okay, my daily grind sent us a package. Wow, it's really well. <laughs> Put oh, oh. You, already, oh, you already told them. Here's the scissors. It. What do you know about that? Wow, the new glasses. Oh, you found, no. where were they? No, they were in the drawer. I, just, I was thinking about your phone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I don't know where they came from, but they weren't there earlier. So, um, yeah, you, you did say Zenny, right? Zenny, it was Zenny.com? Zennyoptical.com. So Z-E-N-N-I optical.com. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, Michelle, ah. Sunshine, Michelle Sunshine Star, sorry about that. Bifocals gave me balance problems. Yeah, I find... Do you I, know what this means? Oh, yes, it's Kylo Ren. It's a Star Wars one. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I opened your present. Very you cool. You didn't see Michael on there. Very, very cool. Oh, it says for Mike. I'm oh, sorry, very cool. I opened your present. Whoa, thank you, my daily side. That is awesome. I haven't seen you <laughs> on today, so if you're on, say something. Oh, this will be great. <laughs> Thanks very much. He loves Star Trek. Star Wars. <laughs> and Star oh, Wars. Star Wars, sorry. Come on, come so on. So we know it's not for you. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate it. <laughs> now you got a mug you can drink your coffee out of. Yep. Okay, so this one is from Kathy. <gasps> oh, Kathy. Oh, Kathy loves Mom and I. Oh, uh, she learned how to fold a fitted sheet from us. Oh, uh, thanks. That is awesome. That's so hilarious. She got, okay, mom's going to die. Look at what is in here, guys. A whole box. Oh, my goodness. Of Grace Livingston Hill books. We, mom and I love Grace Livingston Hill. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Thank you so much. Yay. Now the problem is how can I read all these before mom gets here? Because she's coming in three weeks. <gasps> oh, this is so exciting. And I can't read all these before she steals them from me. Because I know she will. My mother is mean like that. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Kathy. You'll have to hide them before she comes over. Just think if she was living nearby, it and might then, be more of a problem. <laughs> Ramona sent us a thank you for the Bible. Oh, thank you, Ramona. And thank I hope you, you enjoy Ramona, it. for watching. <laughs> so that's all of our exciting stuff for today. Okay, so questions. Do we have questions? A lot of people on the glasses. Let's see. I'm looking to make sure we didn't miss anything. 
Um, oops. I was clicking in the wrong place. Uh, where was Kathy, it? Kathy, look. Loves our banana bread. Um, oh, yes. Okay, here it is. So Janice wants to know if you order it online, where do you get the prescription? From my eye doctor. So you just go in and fill a prescription. And then you just copy the prescription onto their, um, what do you call it? Onto their form online. Honestly, I we have probably bought no less over the last 17 years. We've had six people with glasses. We have probably bought no less than 100 pair of glasses because I get prescription glasses, prescription sunglasses. Um, they have held up really well. Only had to return one or two pairs out of like a hundred. Again, but no, they let you and it's easy, right? To return. Yeah. Now, if you just don't like them, you only get like 50% back if you just don't like them. But you have, you can take your picture on oh, word, the computer. <laughs> Wow, did you hear Dave? Oh my word, those are good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Sorry. Um, and you can put your picture, you can take a picture of yourself and put it on their site, and then you can just try on the glasses. So, yeah. Oh, Jessica says, Yellen, Out of Goshen are my favorites. Oh, we love them. They're awesome. We friends. watched them last night. <laughs> um, somebody else asked about the glasses. Oh, how do you measure that measurement they want? I think she means the between the eyes The PD. Thing. I just asked the eye doctor to do it while I'm there. <clears throat> Don't they also have something you can download and hold up? Yeah, I mean, it's just millimeters. And it's just the measurement is just from the center of each pupil. And you just take a ruler, look straight ahead, and have somebody read in between your eyes, between the center of each pupil, on what the size is. So. And Laura wants to know, does Ellie still have soaps for sale? Ellie, do you still have soaps for sale? Yes. Well, would you like to say it louder so they can hear you? Yes. <laughs> she I'm said yes. She way. doesn't have many left, but she does have some soaps for sale. Goatmilkgifts.com. She's out of goat milk cream, but she has some of the soaps <gasps> that I made still for sale. Oh, Laura says, how about a putt-putt? Like, I think she means like a mini golf course. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, it's five acres. We could have our own adventure park. That would be, that would be great. Actually, it's funny because when I was a kid, my cousins and I, we were visiting my cousins at their house outside of Chicago, and there was a huge vacant lot nearby, and we mowed a mini golf course in the vacant lot. Do you know what we could do with a church? Oh, that yeah. would be so incredibly cool to have a church at your house. <laughs> yes. It's not a very cute-looking church. And then Satan so would never... Then, then Satan would never bother us again. He'd probably bother us more. <laughs> you need another one? Yes. You want to wait for the chocolate chip ones? Yeah, actually, I'll wait for the chocolate chips. Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see. Uh, my chicken curry recipe. It is in Dying on a Dime 2. And actually, I just got more curry yesterday from Amazon. We got through breads on the index yesterday on Dining on a Dime. How far did you get today? Um, Half, a quarter, a third? Well, I got page numbers on all the recipes. Okay. But... You know, we have to sort through categories. We have to go through and do the tips that you, you want to add to it. Then we have to do the categories thing, which is kind of a little nightmarish. But we so, were doing that with breads yesterday. We might... Maybe in two or three weeks, maybe, well, maybe three weeks, I am going to start cooking recipes and put the ebook for sale as soon as we get it sent to the printer. And that's going to be exciting! Okay. Ooh. I had a moment. <clears throat> Jessica, I got a question. Bought a 1995 E320 for $700 last March. That's a car. Now it needs tires, alignment, brakes, and engine work. Do I get rid of it for a better one? I don't have any credit cards. Zero debt. Ooh. Um, depends tires, on what kind alignment, of... alignment, <clears throat> brakes, and engine... What kind of engine work? It depends work. on what kind of engine work it needs. How much are they saying it's going to be? Well, and I would be careful 
if they're te if one place is telling you all those things, I would be careful um, because certain places are very likely to tell you you need a lot that it doesn't necessarily need. Especially if you, I hate to say it, but if you went in there by yourself, there are a, woman, a lot yeah. of mechanics that will look at a woman and think, oh, she's going to be afraid and we're going to tell her all kinds of stuff she doesn't, because she doesn't know anything about cars. Yeah. Um, they've tried that with Tara before. and So, um, uh, for me, depending on what the engine work was, I would probably do those things. I would say if you have to spend more than $500 doing all that stuff, it's probably not worth it. I mean, I don't know how... It depends on how good the condition in the car is. If it's just falling apart, I probably would not. But if it's still in fairly good condition then I probably would. Like, we just bought a van for $1,000 that needed $400 worth of work, but the van's in really good condition, so it's worth us putting that money into the van. So it just kind of depends on if your condition of your car is really good or if, just like, it's kind of cool, just <laughs> hold on. Um, then, um, you know, that kind of depends a little bit, yeah. If you email with your specific circumstance, Jessica, I'll tell you based on what they told you. <clears throat> um, so the main thing is on a car like that, we would say for $700, we're not sure how long we're going to keep it, uh, probably go pretty well. What thing needs to be done right now? And on tires for a car at that price range, I would get the cheapest yeah, ones that you can. Yeah, get the cheapest tires you can. Because they'll say, do you want the 80,000 or the 100,000 mile tires? And the cheapest ones will last you a number of years. Yeah. And sometimes things like alignment, if it's obviously really bad, that's a problem. And it might, if it really is out, it yeah. could wear the tires. But the thing is, if you get the cheap tires and you don't even know how long you're going to have it, and if it's not acting weird, then it's not likely to damage them that much. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's kind of how we used to decide. We still sometimes do. Uh, but the engine yeah. work is the question mark. And if you go to a place like a... If you own a place like this, I'm sorry. But if you go to a place that does like uh, oil changes or tires, uh, that's got a, a corporate brand name usually, where you go in quick and they do your work and you leave, they're always going to come to you with a list of 57 things that, that are wrong with a car. The Most of the time, most of those don't need to be done. Mm -hmm. So just so you know, and especially like I said, Hate to say it, but if you're a woman and you go in by yourself, there are a lot of people who would try to take advantage of you at a place mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Some of you guys were talking about prices of glasses. These glasses, if I were to just go in and buy them from my eye doctor from a glass place here in town, these glasses would be upwards of $600 because I have progressives, bifocal progressives. Um, they are the thinner lens because I have such a bit thick prescription. I have the um, special anti-fingerprint coating on them. And so, yeah. But they were only 50 bucks. Okay, you, oh my goodness, you guys are like little you gotta, She should make her come over here to get it. So she she doesn't want to be. Wave a soap bar she across. She doesn't want to be on camera, Dad. <clears throat> okay, okay, there's one. Here's one. They're pretty hot. Be <clears throat> careful. Don't burn your mouths. So, do you have a recommendation of where to buy yeast at this moment? Um, Rebecca noticed that the price seems to have skyrocketed. It's, uh, I think it's probably just temporary because of the... You might check Amazon and see if they... Oops. Ooh, see? That's what happens when you don't let them sit long enough. They fall apart. Why don't you let them sit for longer? Well, because I have more that I was going to try and get done here real quick oh. because it's like 100 degrees in here. Um... I, what was the question again? Oh, yeast. Uh, first of all, check alternate stores like Aldi, Save-A-Lot, Grocery Outlet, um, all those discount saving places. Try Walmart, try Big Lots. Maybe Dollar Tree might even have some. Um, but here's the thing, guys. Let's talk about grocery prices for just a second. It may have gone up, and I would look for other places, but if um, you are looking at prices, 
pieces. You've got to keep it in perspective, okay? So, like, even though the yeast that I bought at the grocery store when I did my big haul a month ago was more expensive than what I would normally spend, it wasn't outrageous. So now at this point, you've got to be like, what is a good price that I'm still willing and able to pay for these things? So an example would be, I went to the grocery store today, hamburger was $12 a pound. I was not willing to pay $12 a pound for 80-20 hamburger. But yesterday I went to Walmart for something. I know, I stepped foot in there, I'm sorry. But their hamburger was still only $3.30 a pound. I normally don't spend more than $1.99 a pound for hamburger, but since meat is in short supply, I went ahead and spent a little extra than I normally would. Here's the thing, guys. We keep hearing stories and that kind of thing. Grocery prices are skyrocketing, skyrocketing. Uh-oh. I read one on I just CNN. <laughs> I read one on CNN. Grocery prices are skyrocketing. This is where the news is lying to you guys, and you need to stop listening to them. It sounded super scary the way they said it. So I actually read the article. Eggs are going up 2.9%. Seriously? Think about this. That's skyrocketing. That's that means that the eggs that I normally get for 99 cents are going to be a dollar two now. That is not skyrocketing. That is flat out lying, and CNN is lying to you. And you need to understand that. That is why things like, and you're just gonna say, oh, you're just trying to sell some. You can make this yourself. You don't have to buy it from me. But that's why things like this price book, you know your prices. So that when your eggs skyrocket 2.9% and they go from 99 cents to a dollar two, you can say, oh, I can still afford eggs, that's fine. But when hamburger goes from $1.99 to $12.99, you can say, you know what? We ain't going to be eating hamburger for a while. We're going to be eating ham. We're going to be eating Polish sausages. We're going to be eating chicken. <laughs> and if all of that's too expensive, we're going to start eating beans <clears throat> if I just can't afford it. So but, that's... But 2.5% two, two is not skyrocketing. <laughs> They were saying that groceries across the board are going up 2.9%. That is ridiculous. It is not, that is not skyrocketing. Now, granted, I'm not going to discount the fact that some things are skyrocketing, like the hamburger example. I'm just not going to buy that hamburger. Sorry, but I'm not. Now, I found other hamburger. I actually found hamburger patties for $3 that I bought yesterday. I did a whole haul video that's going to come out in a day or two that I did on my grocery shopping for me because I was just curious, is this actually a problem? So here's the thing. <clears throat> if that yeast that you normally pay for the little bottle $3.50 or $4 for is now $5 or $6, put it in perspective. That's going to make... How many loaves of bread? I don't know how many loaves of bread. Well, let's just figure it out, shall we? So that's going to make... Here's how I'll show you how I figure it out, okay? So here's the yeast. This used to be about $3.50 or $4. I paid $4.50 for it, which is more than I normally spend. But this has... Oh, dear. I need a calculator. Oh, Oops. okay. Hold on, sorry, you caught my brain in a different mode. <clears throat> so divide a hundred and so this has a hundred and thirty-two servings. Mm -hmm. A serving is a quarter of a teaspoon. <laughs> there is four quarter teaspoons in one teaspoon, and I need two and a quarter teaspoons. So that means I need nine servings. You need how many teaspoons? Two and a quarter. Yeah, nine servings. So nine servings in here. So divide 132 by nine. It's 14.6 for feeding. Wow, Whoa. day! 14.6, Dave says. Very good. So you get 14. Almost 15. Almost 15 batches of bread. But here's the kicker. Hold on, we need the calculator again. This makes one 
two and a quarter teaspoon serving makes three loaves of bread. So then what you do is you take 14 times three. <coughs> the 42. 42. So then you take your $2 that it's more. So now take $2 divided by 42. That means you are paying an extra four cents yeah. per loaf of homemade bread for the extra $2 of yeast. Now, if you guys didn't catch that, just rewind it and listen again, because it actually makes sense. But <laughs> that's how you figure it out, and you have to keep it in perspective. No, $12 a pound, almost $13 a pound for hamburger is not something I'm going to pay. But an extra four cents for each loaf of bread, I will go ahead and pay the extra four in case there is a shortage. And that's where you have to put it in perspective. Did that make sense at all? Uh, I, I heard 10% of it, so okay. yes. I heard that's where I you have to it get it in perspective, and that sounded exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh, Beth said a bakery here is offering yeast for sale. Yeah, check bakeries. They may have some. And because they're not open and they have all these ingredients, they can't share. They can't sell. Flour, frosting, um, yeast, baking powder. They would have um, shortening, anything like that. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, Beth also said there are neighbors of mine who have renovated a church and made it a very nice house. I know. Actually, if it had trees, I would seriously consider it if it had trees. Because the price is super low because, no, you know what? Actually, nobody's buying it. I wonder if we made them a lowball offer. Well, that's what I was telling you. People aren't very creative about that. With that, It's not a classic old church. It's a... Uh, so okay. let's think about this for a minute. What if we bought the church for mom, a house, and even though it doesn't have trees, what if we put she up some per well. I know, but what if we put up a pergola, some pergolas for her <clears throat> and porches for her, for shade, then she could have a whole 2,000 square feet for her quilting. <laughs> yeah. And she could have <clears throat> quilting seminars. <laughs> And then I could have a soap shop in there. Okay, well, something. Oh, no. Lynn says they had a flood at their house. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. That's... Oh, man, that's not good. Um, okay, Denise wants to know, are the frames durable? Yeah, they are. They so, really are. As long as you don't put all your body weight on them wow. like I did. <laughs> so he had a pair for like three years, and he went and slammed his didn't see them sitting they blended in with the couch and he put all his body weight on them and i was gonna lean over and grab something off this table and i leaned down and they're not them. broken the lens popped out we can put the lens back in and we just have to straighten them out yeah uh one that i don't think it probably has a full bathroom at that but no but, but for 4700 square feet you could it would be easy to to do that though oh i forgot my timer so oh, shoot. although at the same time, we're thinking, would we actually want to have to do anything like that? I think it would be fun. And we could afford it. And we could pay cash to do it. And do you know what that would do for our YouTube channel to show us remodeling a church? Okay. <laughs> uh, we were just talking today about how we're so worn out that we can't take on one more thing. So <laughs> that's why he's like... Uh, sure do. I've been hearing a lot more ideas lately, and I'm thinking, uh-oh. <laughs> um, let's see, we already said this. Ooh, somebody that. said put Nutella in the middle of them. Oh, yum, that would that be really good. That would have good. been amazing. Yes. Uh, What's your place of peanut butter with Nutella? Actually, Candy, that place that that other town we're looking at, we would only be about an hour and a half from you. What? Yep. Uh... Tourists had plant apple trees and you would have some to eat, although at, at the elevation it is, I don't know if that would work. No, they would probably work out there. Would it? Yeah, they probably would. But here's the problem. We can't just plant trees. We'll be dead by the time they grow. Not apples, not apples or pears necessarily, but just regular shade trees, we would be dead because it's out where it's dry and in Colorado we get really, we get hardly any rain at all here. 
And so and it's at, it has to be all irrigated and and it, yeah. at the elevation where it is things don't grow very fast. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's switch over here and see. We're off the list now. Uh, you must have good air conditioning. Actually, we don't. <laughs> I just needed something to do for the show. I have had some sort of stomach bug since Monday or Sunday since Sunday. And so, yeah. Annie, I see a watermelon on your counter. How do I pick one? This was only $3.99. I was going to show you that. Look at this hunkin' sucker here. Oh, this thing is heavy. $3.99. And it is, um, the way you tell, You don't want the bottom to be very yellow. You want it to be as green as possible. <laughs> Wait, Jennifer says like, I don't remember what she was referring to, what she was specifically referring to, but she says like, if you have 20 bucks to spend, your chocolate costs 10 bucks and your broccoli costs 10 bucks, you put the broccoli back and buy two chocolates in simple math. <laughs> Oh, so that's she was the, talking about your That's math. the kind of the math that, that my mother is would do. brilliant, Jennifer. I don't know if I like these glasses. I don't know. I'm looking at me now. Let's see. Let me look at myself here. <laughs> Jessica okay. said, I could see you using different Sunday school rooms for things like the bookwares, house room, when in office. Your gnomes would look awesome decorating the landscaping of it. Mike came up with another YouTube channel that I should do. Oh! And well, I was going to say, she saw another one. I am had so a, mad. It had a... Um, a what do you call it a horse <gasps> horse arena it had an arena <laughs> that thing had to be 15,000 square feet it was huge you could run your own amazon book warehouse of books oh my word it was 1.5 million dollars and i was like but that's all the space we need so i don't know how we pay for it but good grief we'd have we could rent out for horse shows <laughs> Rodeos. It was supposed to be a therapy place, but um I'm joking. Why <laughs> that would be too much though? work probably, but why would you have a whole arena for a therapy? Well, because for Cause people who horses. have disabilities or if you have a uh injury or something, horses gotcha. help you with your physical therapy. So they would have more than one person at a time. So Wanda asks to repeat the glass place, Zenny Optical. Z E N N I optical.com. Uh, we used to have it on our show notes at livingonadime.com. If you click show notes, I think it's still on that page. Uh, wait, was I on YouTube or Facebook when I saw that? Oh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, sending love your way. Aww, I made a special thanks. trip today to buy butter for 64 cents a pound. <gasps> Wow, fill your freezer with that. Oh, she says, too bad there was a limit of two. You well, made a shoot. huge difference for me. Flipped my food planning completely Wait, around. Chip. Awesome. Chip. What dost thou thinkest? <laughs> so those are gluten free also. Oh, and I, tasty, I just huh? saw your on Music Mad. You Good didn't morning. even know they were gluten free. These ones are gluten free? Yes. Well, not the other ones. They're all gluten free. So are they slightly more crispy or crunchy than usual? I'm just curious. Well, I just let them cook too long. No, I was yeah. thinking because the gluten-free usually adds that little bit oh, of crunchy texture. Yeah, they're the a rice. little bit crunchier, yeah. All right. Well, let's they see. Are, but not really. I well. don't see any new questions. Not really. Not much. Hmm. Yeah. They're just a I tiny. hear Buster. He wants a cookie. <laughs> yes, he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> oh, uh, Valerie was asking, uh, did they... I, I don't do a measurement. It's just on my She's prescription, asking, so I just copy the prescription measurement that's on there for the progressive. So Valerie's asking, how do you measure for progressive lenses if you use a place like Zenny? I don't know. They the, just, the my doc eye doctor puts it on the prescription. And she just and types the numbers in yeah. where it says to type them in. Yeah, you so. have to make sure when you search their glasses that you put bifocals, that you search <clears> for bifocals. We should just become an affiliate and do a video for them, but... I... Um, so I was going to say, um, oh, I, when I started oh, getting shit. bifocals or reading glasses, oh, here, I would love them like that if I ate peanut butter. <laughs> ah! Oh, no. Wait, 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 stop. Hold on. See, you can get this out of here. Well, you can't. You can get this one. Oh. Oh, it's really soft. Yeah, because. Wasn't done yet. 
Oh, no. Okay, Dave, you might as well show my disaster. I'm not going to zoom in. Or no, oh. this is a YouTube <clears throat> moment. Oh! Except um, you're going to set him on fire if you leave him in there with the burner on. I turned the burner off. Oh, okay. Can they see what I just did? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We can kind of see. Well, could it be ice cream talking? <laughs> I'm just... Trying to find the positive. Trying to find the positive. Uh, well, you still have 15 of the <sighs> other ones left. Just don't let anyone else see them. I'm looking for an assistant who will come and clean up after the shows and set up for the shows. You can make applications at livingonadime.com. I'm going to go cry. We really Cheryl says it happens, it's all good. Melissa says five second rule. The problem with the five second rule you is they disintegrated. Out, yeah. <laughs> they didn't stay at home. They completely disintegrated. Um, although she has a batch from, was this a Magic of Television version? No. Oh, this There's is just light. another set? Yeah. The ones that survived? Well, no, these were from before. Yeah. Oh, this, okay. this is my third batch. Oh, oops. Uh, okay. Uh, I am going to do a bloopers reel and then I'm going to go viral and make my $1.5 million so we can buy the arena and put $300,000 into turning it into a warehouse. Yes. Oh, Nancy says, okay, I could cry for you. Uh, yes. <clears throat> hey, one thing I was going to say on the glasses. Um, when I started getting, I've had a lot of struggle with bifocals and in the end, I think I like the line ones better than the no line ones. But I didn't know till like my sixth pair of trying to get it right, uh, sixth pair because I was doing these no line ones and I just don't like them. Uh, <clears throat> but the doctor had given me some line ones and I said, well, I like them a lot, except I have to hold the book right here to see it. And she said, oh, well, most people read the books there. And uh, how do you usually read? I said, well, I mostly need it to read my Bible in church, which is in my lap. So it's like this far away from my face. And she said, oh, okay, I can just make an adjustment. So she made some adjustment on the number. And after that, they worked great for me. So if you didn't know that and you're struggling with that problem, ask your eye doctor. Yep. Sorry about the cookies. Do you want me to bake you some new ones? No. People are saying... I don't need more cookies. I am, I am only eating a cookie a day. Don't feel bad, Tara. Some of us are just born different. <laughs> <laughs> Although... <sighs> Oh, peanut butter pie. Yeah. Recycle really into a good. cookie crumb pie crust. And here's one thing about the Zenny guys. You know, you may be thinking, well, what if I get the glasses and I just hate them? Here's the thing. Okay, so I spent $50 on these, <clears throat> which would be almost $600 here. Um, I've totally lost my train of thought. Okay, hold on. I'm thinking processing. It's whirring. It's puttering. Oh yeah. Uh, what I, the perspective I kind of took was, yes, I'm risking $50. If I just really don't like them, I can only get 50% of my money back. But here's the thing to save $600. I would have to order what's 600 divided by 50, 12, 12. I would have to order 12 pairs of glasses for it to cost the same amount as buying one set here. So even if I had to go through three or four different sets of glasses for $200, figuring out what I'm doing, that is still way cheaper than the $600 it would <clears throat> cost me to buy them. Well, didn't one of the here. stores one time tell us that they get the glasses from the same supplier? Yeah. They so, did. actually, Walmart told me that. So, if they told us correctly, <clears throat> then they're selling the same glasses yeah. to you for different more. frames. <laughs> different frames. Different they frames. said that they have exclusive frames oh, okay. that you can't get there, but it's the same company that does them. So, I would say try it. Our experience has been really good, yeah. and that's one thing I like about it too. Is there's times where we've thought, I don't know, would it be good to have this on the glasses or not, but we didn't have to feel like it was a waste if it didn't work out. Yeah. But when we've had to return one or two pairs over the years and they, they were good about yeah. it. Yeah. 
we just didn't like them, so I got my 50% back. But guys, I have probably <clears throat> saved probably close to, oh my goodness, I have probably saved close to $30,000 since I had to start wearing progressives the last four or five years. I have probably slaved, saved close to twenty to $30,000 on buying glasses for my family because we don't have eye insurance. We've never had eye insurance. And so we always paid cash for our glasses. So I have probably saved somewhere between 20, and it's at least 20,000, but it could be up to 30,000 that we've saved over the years. And the fun thing is, because I saved so much money before I had to get progressives, it was it was costing me like 25 bucks a pair. So I would get two or three different pairs and just switch them out as I wanted to because it was just fun. So I didn't even think about yeah. it. Rita said, will you be on Monday since it's a holiday? I forgot. I don't know. You know, this whole staying home thing has kind of gotten us confused about when it is. <laughs> so we didn't even realize until the other day we saw. We should take a vacation day because we are both about to drop. But I don't know. Are we going to be on Monday or not? I hadn't given it any thought. I guess we could put a video up saying if we're not going to. We like could we've do done that. before. Yeah, we'll do that. In the past, when we weren't going to be on, we would put up a video that would come at the same time that would say, Hey, yeah. guys. Just yeah, we've had a lot. be here on Wednesday to do it. Yes. Yeah. You're leaving Wednesday? Yeah. Oh, We're I thought we Wednesday. had all next week to get all that stuff done. No. Well, it's okay. Oh, you can work 18 was... hours a day over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was working with you on it like most of the oh, okay. cool bus. All right, guys. So actually, a lot of people were thanking you for being relatable because they said they feel so bad when they do that and they think they're the only ones. So they love the fact that you had that, even though I know you're not feeling good. Maybe it should be taco night. Oh. <laughs> Your solution to everything is taco oh. night. See how I slipped that in there? How about a vacation to the <clears throat> Bahamas, honey? I, I already said we could do that, or you could do that without me. Mike was looking at a place that was $800 a night. He's like, oh, man. It was in Bora Bora. Great? I, just I can't thought, imagine spending that much on one I, night for a hotel. Yeah, I can't imagine it either. Oh. It's just that there's pictures of online from this place in Bora Bora that I've seen ever since I was a travel agent 25 years ago. And um, it looks so amazing. So I thought, I just wonder how much it is. And I was like, whoa. That's hilarious. P plus says she loves my apron. It's amazing. She had her name embroidered on it because rude people have already tried to claim it with a lie. You tell them to go buy their own, just 15 bucks. <laughs> uh, Paula, we're not still under stay-at-home orders here. We're kind of in a transition phase. We're um, in a get-it-together people phase. Sorry. The problem is it's hard to know for sure what our things are here because the county and the state and the city are saying all different things. So I've spent three days trying to get <clears throat> new tags for our new van. More or less, we're allowed so to go irritated. places. Yeah, we're allowed to go places, but... Uh, a lot of places like government agencies and banks yeah. and stuff are closed. So we are, we have to send a book to the printer tomorrow and I have to send a, um, what do you call it? I have to wire the they money. wire money, yeah. But in order to do that, I have to go into the bank lobby and they are not open. <laughs> so. so we found another printer that we're going to try. We've got two that we're actually trying. So we're going to send dining one to one and dining two to the other. And we're going to give two a try and see which works the best. But... We, um, don't forget guys, dining on a dime, 25% off. We have a whole clearance section, 50% off. We are not reprinting most of the things in the clearance section. So we're not going to be reprinting the aprons or the to-do lists, uh, or Penny Pension Mama. So if you want these here, the to-do list, the menu plan, we're not going to be reprinting those. So, uh, oh, so you said the clearance. So let me, I'll yeah. paste a link into the clearance if you want to see it. And I forgot to put that in on the pen. price books so we don't oversell them. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I've only got 40 price books left. I think I have 100 aprons left. 100? No, I can't have 100. I think, no, I've got way less than that. I've got probably, I've probably only got like 60 aprons left. So... Hmm. All right, guys. Thanks, everyone.
It's great to see you again. Yes, and Carla, you can put your picture on Zenny and you can try the glasses on, on Zenny. That's how you know if we're gonna look good. We will see you guys later. Have a good night. Livingonadime.com for all the recipes, all the tips. Thank you so much for supporting us. We really appreciate you guys. We really do. Yes, thank you. Um, yeah, Lisa, I did make an appointment. Well, I, I told them, they told me I could make an appointment, but somebody's supposed to call me who hasn't. <laughs> so yeah. hopefully they will. See so, you guys later. Bye. Bye.